Hey, did you know that Stephen Hawking is in hell? Yeah, I know. It's a shock, isn't it? I mean, I just heard that Stephen Hawking is dead. When the hell did that happen? Why doesn't anyone keep me up to date on these things? Oh, right. It's because the religious aren't that smart. So here goes yet another example. Enjoy! Today, we're going to look at a preacher over on a channel called Matty John 146. Now, the name sounds kind of familiar, but I can't place if I've ever done a video from there before. If anybody remembers, let me know in the comments. I do a lot of these. But this is just absurd, which is why we're looking at it. This is exactly why atheists make fun of the religious. Because, damn, there is something severely wrong with these people, and I can't imagine anyone making a case otherwise. Well, except for the religious, and they've got some problems regardless. So, let's go back in time and look at the absurdity that is Christianity, and why nobody in their right mind ought to believe in this crap. Because that's what it is. Crap. He's dead. He died today. Um, no he didn't. He actually died back in 2018, and this video was posted on YouTube in July 2020. Okay, yes, it's an old video, but that always strikes me as kind of odd that someone will post something that old without making any kind of note that it is. It seems a bit strange. The channel has certainly been around for that long, so it's not like they couldn't have posted it way back when. And of course, the comments and ratings are turned off, so nobody can ask any of these questions. But yeah, what else is new, right? Yeah, amen, right? So you can stop preaching atheism and foolishness, because the Bible says in the book of Psalms, that the fool is sin in his heart, there is no God. And we care what your ridiculous book of make-believe says. Why? I mean, honestly, why should atheists give a damn what the Bible says? To be honest, why should anybody give a damn what the Bible says? Now, granted, this guy isn't preaching to us, but this is something that has become painfully obvious of late. But the religious, they're not at all interested in what is actually so. They're only pushing an emotionally comforting narrative, and so long as it makes them feel good, yeah, screw reality. And that's just pathetic. And this is where I'm firmly convinced that atheists need to stop pussyfooting around the religious and start calling a spade a spade. I mean, that's how I operate. I don't give a crap about their feelings. When they fuck up, I point it out. They sure aren't concerned with our feelings. Why should we be concerned with theirs? But anyway, back to the mindless preaching. Well, guess what, Stephen Hawking? You believe that there's a God now? No, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Why? Because he's dead. He doesn't believe anything. His brain functions have ceased, and because he was cremated, his brain doesn't even exist anymore. Everything that was Stephen Hawking is gone. Just like when this buffoon dies, everything that he was will be gone too. Now, which of them will be missed more? I mean, Hawking clearly because... Nobody's going to give a damn when this religious fuck is dead. Hell, hardly anybody cares when he's alive in the first place. You're not an atheist anymore because you God's punishing you in the bottomless pit. Really? Prove it. See, this is what the religious try to pull, but it's laughably absurd. They take their most vocal detractors and pretend, Aha, you've changed your mind now. But that's stupid. Can we just say, after this idiot drops dead, that he suddenly knows that Krishna is real because he's being tortured for all eternity in the depths of Naraka by Yama, the Hindu god of death? Anyone can say anything about it they want. That doesn't mean it's true. It's what you can prove that matters, and this jackass can't prove a thing. But again, they don't talk to atheists. At best, they might talk 
at us, but they certainly don't talk to us. They certainly talk about us, but they will never sit down and have an intelligent discussion with the non-religious about religious subject matter because they have nothing at all intelligent to say. Because religion is not intelligent. And one of the things he said was that, you know, God doesn't exist because of gravity. Well, there's no gravity in hell where you're burning. How in the hell do you know that? What orifice did you yank that out of? The Bible doesn't say that there isn't gravity in hell. In fact, if you think about it, Revelation 21.8 says that there's a lake that burns with fire and brimstone. So, clearly, there must be gravity if there's a lake. Otherwise, it would all just be floating around. But this is just another clear example that the religious have absolutely no clue what the hell they're talking about. They're just making shit up. All anyone has to do to see how stupid religion is is to just look at this guy. He's just making crap up. But then... So was every other apologist. They have to, because everything in their head is just made up to begin with. And their audience, their audience isn't that bright. I mean, look at who they're listening to. There's no gravity. It's the bottomless pit. It just never ends. That's where he is right now. Not according to the Bible. If you actually care about things like that, which clearly this guy really doesn't, we know that the Bible describes hell as dark in places like Job 17.13, Revelation 16.10, Jude 1.13, and Matthew 25.30. Not sure how you get burning and flaming and darkness all at the same time, but, you know, it's all still imaginary, so let's not think about it too hard. The Bible describes it as a place where people weep and gnash their teeth all the way through Matthew, who really loved that term, and in Luke 13, 28. However, it's also described as a place of fire, again, all the way through Matthew, but also in Mark 9, 43 and Revelation 14, 10. So I guess it's very dark fire. I don't know. And it's very specifically described as a place where you are separated from God in places like 2 Thessalonians 1.9 and Matthew 25.41. So where this jackass gets the idea that God is somehow torturing Stephen Hawking, I don't know. He hasn't paid attention to his own ridiculous book. Anyone in their right mind who reads this book knows just how inconsistent the description of this farcical place actually is. But this preacher isn't in his right mind, is he? And every single atheist in this world, that's where they're going to go as well if they don't put their trust on Jesus. If they don't trust Jesus for salvation, they're going to burn in the bottomless pit with Stephen Hawkins. That's where he is. That's where he's going to stay for all eternity. Given a choice between spending eternity with Stephen Hawking and spending eternity with this asshole, I know which one I'd pick. But luckily, there's no evidence that anything in the Bible is actually true. So the reality is, we're all going to be doing what Stephen Hawking did and die, get buried, and that's going to be the end of it. This jerk is going to end up in the ground too. And it's a better fate than he deserves, but hey... Rational people are not needlessly bloodthirsty, and we don't have to believe in stupid shit. And there's no chance for him to get saved ever again. He, he, he blew it. So much for your all-loving God, huh? Because this is yet another place where Christianity is entirely inconsistent. God will always love you right up until the time that you die of a horrible disease, in the case of Stephen Hawking, then he's going to turn into a complete bastard and watch you fry for all eternity on his hell cable TV station. God gets off on things like that, I guess. Because God is an asshole. And that's really why the religious aren't spending time talking to atheists. We just laugh in their faces at this absurd crap. Instead, they have to flap their lips at the delusional who already buy into this ridiculous nonsense, making threats against the non-believers, because, really, what else can they do? They can't prove us wrong. They can't provide any evidence that their imaginary daddy figure in the sky is real. 
they can only make impotent threats against us after we're already dead and conveniently can't come back and tell them that they were wrong all along. But, you know, they don't care about right or wrong, do they? And that's stupid. He, he, he was a fool because he didn't believe in God. He didn't want to trust the Bible. Therefore, he dies. Yeah, I'm sure his death was because he didn't trust your silly book. It was because your dick god gave him a terrible disease, and he managed to survive well beyond the life expectancy for anyone with ALS, thanks to modern medical science. So, we've got a douchebag god and expert doctors. Yeah, tell us some more, Pastor. His soul goes to hell for all eternity. Eventually, it will come out of hell for a little bit, so he can bow before God. Where in the hell did you get that? Because I looked, and I couldn't find any passage in the Bible where it says that those in hell will go before God. Not one. So this jackass just made it all up, and that's hardly a surprise, isn't it? All of these religious morons are just making shit up. They've got nothing else they can do. Their beliefs are imaginary, and their faith is completely unfounded. But damn if they're not going to just get up in their pulpit on Sunday morning and make a whole bunch of absurd claims that nobody in their right mind would take seriously. Because, well, they're in front of a bunch of people who are not in their right minds, right? And they're published by people with no grasp on the passage of time. So yeah. They're all messed up. And then God will cast them in the second death into the lake of fire, and then he'll burn there forever and ever because he was an atheist. Because, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, wait, none of it makes sense. It's all dumb. And all the religious can do is say, you'll see, because they can't prove that any of it is true. Because to them, Truth doesn't matter. God is just Santa Claus for stupid adults, bringing presents to all the good boys and girls, and taking away the evil sinners to eternal perdition. Yeah, sure, whatever you say. Excuse me, I'm uh, going to go over there and talk to the people not wearing love me jackets. I think it's time for your Thorazine. And all oh, atheists go to hell because they haven't trusted in Jesus, who is obviously God in the flesh. And so every atheist, they're going to go to hell. And Stephen Hawkins is in hell right now, burning for eternity. That's pretty much been his entire sermon, you notice? Repeating over and over and over that atheists are going to hell. Well, I guess religion is all about mindless repetition, but can we try for something better? Like, maybe some proof? Objectively verifiable evidence for any of this? No? You're just going to keep spouting ridiculous crap because you've got nothing else? Yeah, okay. Yeah, and it, it's just, I mean, it's sad. I mean, I wish someone had gone out and given them the gospel. What makes you think they didn't? You think atheists go through life completely unaware of your silly beliefs? Really? Most of us used to be theists, and we realized just how stupid it all is. Maybe you ought to stop believing in stupid crap. You ever think of that? No? Yeah, that's not really surprising because rational thought is not something in the toolbox of the religious, at least not when it comes to their religion. Atheists know more than you. It's how we figured out just how wrong you are about pretty much everything. When he was a child, he might have trusted that and got saved. And that's where the video ends, in the middle of a sentence. Why are the religious such terrible video editors? I've pointed this out in video after video, how they'll end in the middle of a sentence, or sometimes in the middle of a word. But when your worldview lacks even basic coherence, I'm hardly surprised that they can't figure the simplest things out. It's also kind of sad that I know more about the Bible than this jackass does because I've actually read it, I've actually studied it, and I actually care about reality, which is a whole lot more than these idiots do. But anyway, were you aware that Stephen Hawking died and went to hell? Let me know in the comments, because I am shocked, I tell you, just shocked. 
But I'm even more shocked at just how dumb these people actually are. It's downright embarrassing. Maybe it's time for the religious to grow the hell up.